Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Mr. Status 74. This is a very interesting grouping that we have here. You have a QLED Q7DR. You have an 85-inch 950G. You have an 85-inch Nano Cell 9 Series. 77-inch C9. 75-inch Z9F. Very interesting seeing this group together on this very random back wall on Best Buy with a pole in the way. So it's a pretty heavyweight division on this random Magnolia back wall here on a random Best Buy. This Best Buy is actually Norwalk, Connecticut. I shouldn't say random. So you have your Q70R. interesting mix of displays this is actually the q70r i'm sorry q70r 950g both 80 plus inches can't get far back enough from them in my opinion if you're going to go large 950g would be the way to go if you're going to go over 80 q70r not bad how you doing I'm not a huge fan of the QLED 70 series. I recommend going up to the Q80. Nano cell, I wouldn't recommend going with anything under the 9000, which this is the 9000. But definitely differences in picture quality with the nano cell. A lot of dirty screen effect on this particular model. But interesting having a 77 and C9 over here in the back corner. And random Z9F master series up here. Now, just to show you the difference between a 75 inch TV and an 85 inch, that's a huge difference in size. But you have some pretty heavyweight division displays back here. The 950G looks excellent at this size. Nano cell doesn't look bad either, but you know, I'd have to see some black bar to see how that one actually looks. Hold that looks amazing. But it's interesting seeing the OLED next to the Z9F. Z9F really hangs in there. Good deal of judder on all of these right now, depending on what they're playing, the feed they're playing on. But interesting seeing them back here. On this kind of random back wall, there's the regular stuff out there. This is the intro to their Magnolia. But I would recommend the 950G at this size. Now the prices for the 950G at 85 is four grand. The Nano Series 9000 is actually a full thousand less. Pull on the way. C9 at 77 inches is 5,000 so for two grand more and the Z9F at 75 inches is still 6,000 so interesting looking at all these I wish there were some better demos playing on them to really show you what they look like but I thought that was a very interesting lineup to show you guys some pretty interesting TVs to have side by side Q7DR 950G, Z9F, the Z9F is very crisp, I know it's hard to see off angle, the OLED, OLED versus the Z9F, it's an interesting fight right there, look at the Z9F hang in there though, I mean really close for an LED, so yeah, Z9F versus C9, 950G, versus Z9F. The Z9F would be an excellent grab if it had dropped down in price. It's not the same contrast ratio as Z9D, but that would be a great one, but it's still super expensive. But for large displays, for me right now, the 950G would be the one I'd recommend, or the Q80R. Though they do jump up quite a bit in price. 
just a nano, a lot of blooming. Other than the 9 series, the 9000, which this one is, it's probably the only one in that group that, group that I'd recommend. And the C9 to me is still king of all displays this year. Here we go. So C9, Z9F. See, the nano cell doesn't look bad. Just doesn't, it's just not anywhere near as crisp. terrible but remember at this size we really look for full array local dimming from everybody which is why i only recommend the nine series all right guys quick video wish there was more demos playing but thought you'd appreciate this group of displays all put together on this random black wall take care